G'day guys, Alfie here. Um, I've calmed down a bit since my last video. I was a little bit overexcited and I think I spoke a fair bit of gibberish. So today we're actually going to go through a tutorial and I've created a template skin pack for you to use to follow through with this tutorial. Um, inside there is an instructions.txt and that lists the steps that I'll be going through today. All right, so that's within the skin pack that will be linked in the video description below. Um, first step is unzip all of those files into a folder. So I've done that here onto my desktop. Step one is click the skins as PNG files and put them in the folder. And I've included my skin as an example and used that as an example all the way through. Um, I downloaded two skins just now, so I'm going to grab them and put them in here. Um, and that's step one. Now the Yvonne skin is a three pixel wide arm and the Steven skin is a four pixel wide arm and you'll notice it says take note of that as they're going to be important in a little bit. Okay so the first the next step since we've got our skins is to edit the ENUS lang file in the text folder so we go into text open up the ENUS lang and this is where we name our thing so we're going to take skin pack template template I'll just fix that going through these instructions live so we're going to go skin uh, class 5b class 5b and then in here where it says template here all right, we're going to go class 5B again, and it's Stephen E, so the skin name. All right, and then we give it a nice name, so I'm just going to call it Stephen. Okay, and then there was class 5B, uh, Yvonne E, and we'll just call that Yvonne Ooh, with two ends. So you can add more of these if you're adding more skins just copy them down like that but I'm only adding two skins in this pack so I'm going to delete that save that and we're done with step two so step three is to edit the skins.json file um, which is found here in the folder and I've set this up as a template so you only need to worry about doing this. I've tried to make this as simple as possible. So what we need to do is it says in the instructions here, let's actually do this. All right, it says change the localization name. All right, so we're going to call this Stephen E. All right, and it's a standard skin so if it's got four white arms you use geometry humanoid custom if it's got three white arms you use the geometry humanoid custom slim so for this one here it works out perfectly oh we should probably put Stephen E there all right and Yvonne is a slim so we're just gonna and then it says here make sure to keep the comma in between sets of that and it also gives you a warning over here to repeat this if you're adding more what I do is copy from the comma down or you can copy from there to the comma all right and then you can put that in in here and you can just add in a new set like that now we don't need that for this one because again we're only doing two so I'm going to get rid of all of that so we've got two and we also need to change the serialized name to class 5b and the localization name to class 5b all right save that and that skins.json done okay step five oh no step four is to edit the manifest JSON file and to do that you need to get the UUID generator um, UUID generator.net copy one of them and put it under the name 
which we're going to change to class 5B. Go back to that website, hit reload, and grab another one, and put that underneath the skin pack there. Save that. So that's pretty much all the editing done now. Um, from here, there are a couple of options. I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. It tells you also how to do it on Mac there. Grab the files within the skin pack folder and send to a compressed or zipped folder and name that, I'm going to name it class 5B. Okay. Oh, and that's not following the instructions. And then you change it from zip to MC pack and then you just agree to that. And what you can do is you can right click that and open with Minecraft Education Edition. Now Minecraft Education Edition is opening on my other screen um, and it says import started. So it's actually started to import that texture pack automatically and that other ding just then was it saying successfully imported class 5B. Alright, so if we go back to the instructions it says on a Mac, right, rename this folder. So I'm going to go back to desktop and I'm going to rename this folder. This is how you would do it on a Mac to class 5B. Of course I can't do that because I've got the instructions open. Duh. Class 5B. All right, and then I would copy that entire folder and I would put it into the library application support Minecraft PE games com.mojang skin packs. That direction there or that directory there and you can get to library if you don't know how to get to library if you open up finder and click on the go menu up the top here um, and then hold the alt key it actually pops up a library in there then and you can get to it from there and then follow the rest of the path there and now if we log in and we click on the coat hanger and we scroll all the way to the bottom we can see we've got class 5b and those two skins are there. Now, I thought I saw somewhere that you could name them, but clearly not. So that's my proposal of a way to get uh, a class full of skins into Minecraft Education Edition. Um, and you've got all of the files you need to do it, except for the skin files themselves. So whether you get students to collate them and give them to you, or whether you collate them and give them a random selection, or whatever it is you choose to do, this process here will support you to do that. Um, my overall thought is you would have, um, if you had multiple classes using the same set of computers, uh, you would have uh, class 5A, class 5B, class 5C as um, re, uh, skin packs in there and then they could choose their skins from there. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you found that helpful and a bit clearer than the last <laughs> supposed tutorial I did. Um, this pack here minus the stuff I just did, the original will be zipped up and available in the video description below. Um, if you need a hand and you're a mentor, reach out on Teams. If you're not a mentor, reach out on Twitter at eduelfie. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.